Port West, as we know, are a huge, huge company, synonymous uh, here in the west of Ireland, indeed, with their store in Westport, Galway, and now a new store in Killarney as well. And I'm delighted to welcome into the satellite cruiser, Cahal Hughes from Port West. Cahal, thanks indeed for coming in to us. You're welcome, Michael. First of all, Cahal, the town itself, Westport, as we said earlier off air, it is absolutely buzzing, like it always is, I'm sure, every weekend. Well, it's a great town, and uh, it, it, it attracts huge numbers of people. This weekend, there's a mini festival. Uh, the mini cars are here in town. Uh, there's 1,700 cars came from all over Europe, and there's 3,000 people uh, camping on the campsite down in Westport House. Mm. So that, together with all other tourists, the place is absolutely buzzing. Now, tell us about Port West itself here. Um, a Mayo-based company, a family-run business, as we know as well. Going from strength to strength, of course, we were here last year as well, but even since then, they have a new store open in Killarney. That's right. Well, uh, Port West has four stores uh, along the wide Atlantic Way, two in Westport, one in Galway, and now the new one in Killarney. Uh, but Port West is uh, the retail stores, uh, while we love them, they're a very small part of our business. Uh, we're an international business. We sell in about 100 countries worldwide. Uh, we have stores in uh, uh, Dubai, uh, Poland, uh, England, America, and we're just after buying a company now down in Australia. Uh, so uh, we're fairly spreading our wings and um, uh, it's all done and uh, controlled and driven from Westport where our headquarters are. How many people do you employ here now, Carl? Uh, in Westport uh, we have nearly 100 people and they're all pretty much graduates dealing in all the sort of thing that you would uh, expect head office to do such as graphics, uh, supply chain, design, management, accounting, all of that to tie it all together. Indeed, the, the town all year has uh, you know, great um, different events planned, uh, just like this weekend as well. And I believe you're doing your own part this weekend. You're raising funds um, for some very worthy causes. That's right. Uh, uh, I mean, there are some great charities, uh, uh, voluntary organisations here uh, in this region that do tremendous work and look after people, such as the Mayo Mountain Rescue and the RNLI. And of course, the Coast Guard, we cannot forget them. And all of these uh, people, because we are a coastal community uh, with uh, some very interesting uh, places to go on uh, out on the bay and uh, obviously climbing as well with the mountains we have in the region uh, these people in a voluntary capacity look after us to make sure that if anybody is injured they're there to look after them help them and ensure that they get the best treatment possible uh, everything we do uh, and port west is based around uh, safety we do everything from head to toe uh, and um, every one of the products that we sell uh, worldwide has to be registered it has to be certified we cannot just bring a product to a country without having the proper certification uh, and indeed uh, the certification in america is different than in australia it's different than in Europe if you go to the Middle East. So everything has got to be recertified in those countries to ensure it reaches the optimum safety standards required for the industry that is going to be supplied to. Uh, in store here today at Port West, they have some fabulous offers. And if people come along uh, and get uh, some of the gear that's on offer, uh, they're actually supporting uh, the voluntary organizations that we're supporting today. And of course, Port West as well is sponsoring uh, the triathlon event that's coming up in June, mm. uh, which will be a huge event. Uh, and uh, we're so delighted to be associated with that and to be their sponsor. Westport, a good many years ago, uh, formed a group called Destination Westport and all of the hotels, uh, the restaurants, the guest houses all contribute to that and they market Westport uh, as a, a destination. Now, if people come in, each of them then realise that they have, you know, will hopefully uh, benefit. Uh, but they're not just doing it individually as well, they're doing it as a group. And yes, Westport is very close when it comes to promoting the town and working together to ensure uh, that we have the highest standards uh, and to ensure that people who come here really enjoy it and want to come back.